So, the Muckoff pressure washer is designed to be the world's first bicycle and motorbike specific product. And if you're thinking of getting one, here's a quick look at what you get for 120 to 130 pounds. This particular one is the bicycle bundle. In the box, you'll get the washer unit, its handle, the hose, the lancers including adapter, attachment brackets to keep it all tidy, hose pipe connector, bike cleaner concentrate and a diluted bottle ready to go. The instructions, some protect spray, the washer gun, snow foam lance, microcloths and a waterproof bag to keep it all in. Oh, and this thing to put in the bottom before everything else. Nice. The one thing that makes this pressure washer different to the usual ones is the lancers. Apart from the standard one that you'd get on any pressure washer, which you'd use for the obvious things, like this, you've got one for a bicycle and one for a motorbike, which have safe pressures to avoid damage to the delicate surfaces or blowing the grease out of your bearings and moving parts. So let's put it together and see what it's like. as easy as any other pressure washer to set up. Even easier if you've got a young apprentice to get things started by giving it a rinse down. <laughs> At this point, I'm also adding a bit of degreaser to the chain and gears to get rid of all that stubborn muck. Once both sides of the bike are wet, it's time for the best bit. Add the snow foam lance with the diluted cleaner Spray it on to evenly distribute the soap all over the bike. Check the warranty if you're doing the same, but I also use similar products like Petey's Loam Foam as an alternative to the snow foam process, what works and covers nicely. Give it all a good scrub using a bit of elbow grease and agitate all the muck out. To be honest, the amount of work you're putting in here is based on how dirty your actual bike is or how much time you want to save when you're rinsing it off. And swap the lance back to rinse off. when it's rinsed off, I'm using one of the cloths to dry it off and one of the cloths to apply the bike protect to give it all a new shine. And this should also make it easier to clean all the mud off the next time round. If you're not familiar with this sort of spray, make sure you don't get any on your brakes or your tires, because although you might get a faster time downhill, yeah, boy. you won't be able to stop. And that's pretty much job done. Cheers for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to join me for another one of the many struggles we all face on the mountain bike scene. Nice one.